good morning till today we discuss about the two varieties of the single row functions the one is implicit function and another one is explicit function in explicit functions we talked about the character functions number functions and date functions and in the last lecture we talked about the conversion functions like to care to number and to date now today we will talk about the general functions people may ask you that sometimes what happened i want to deal with the null so whenever you want to deal with the null you can use the function and that function is a general function that function is known as a nvl nvl is used to evaluate the null here in nvl you can pass the two expression one and expression two if your expression 1 is null, then your expression 2 will be returned. If your expression 1 is null, if null, then your expression 2 will be returned. If it is not null, if expression 1 is not null, then expression 1 will be returned. That is the basic behavior of the NVL function. So let's start with the NVL function first. And let's explore how we can use the NVL function in reality to make the better use of the NVL function. Let's see. For example, if you look carefully in the data, then I have employee number, employee name, job, commission. I have the column that is a salary from employees. Now, if you look carefully over here in the data, then the commission value is null over here. Null means what? That is unknown or inapplicable value, you can say. Right? We can write the null in any data type. For example, if this is a number, then also we can write the null. If it is a character, then also we can write null. If it is a date, then also we can write the null. Now, what I want to do, instead of null, I want to print here that this person is not eligible. It means not applicable. I want to print over here. So whenever you want to print not applicable, it means that this is the number data type and you want to convert it into character. So whenever you want to convert this into character, your column should be converted into character, right? So how we can use the NVL function? Please see carefully. Here you can write the NVL. You can write commission. Suppose if you think that, sir, if commission is null, then I want to write zero. Then you can write commission comma zero from employees. Look carefully in the data. What happened? If the commission is null, then it will return zero. If commission is not null, then the commission will be written. It means if the first column is null, then it will return the zero. But sometimes people say is that, sir, I don't want to write the zero. I want to write over here. That is, if commission is null then i want to write here that is not applicable it means this person is not applicable for the commission that i want to write can we write this if you write this then you will get an error what is the reason behind the error very simple see here this is the character data type and your column commission is the number so we cannot write the character in number over here so what is the solution? Very well, simple. See here in NVL, both the column must have the same data type. It means this is the number. So I have to provide the number over here. So I provided the number that is the correct. If you want to provide here character, then this should be a character. So what I am doing, see here carefully, I am writing here that is to care. So what happened? This commission will be converted into character. And I am printing over here that is not applicable. Suppose if you are writing like this and if you write here from employees, you will get the result and look carefully. This is your actual column that is commission. This is the column which converted into number data type. Why? Because I am providing here zero and commission is number and it is also a number. So here you can write zero also. One more thing here you can write character. But if you want to write the character, then this column should be a character. So here you can write not applicable. It means you can write whatever you want to write over here. This is the wonderful thing. And that function is known as a 
NVL function. Here in NVL, you can write any data type. For example, suppose if I am writing NVL and if I am writing commission, then commission is number, then recommended data type is over here, that is number. So you can write here that is zero. If commission is null, then it will print zero. If it is not null, then the commission will be print. The simple logic is there. You can write here NVL. Now here you can write the another column, for example, higher date. So if it is inserted as a null, then I want to write other date. So here you can provide the date. For example, I am writing 1, that is January 2021. So what happened? If the higher date is null, then your 1 January 2021 will be displayed. If higher date is not null, then higher date will be displayed. But if you look carefully, then the both having the same data type. Another example, you can write here that is NVL and suppose I am writing here that is job column. You all know that the job is the character column, right? So if the job is null, then the default job of the person is, for example, officer. So if the job is not given, if the job role is not given, if the job is null, then write the officer over here. So NVL having the two expression, expression one, and expression 2. If the expression 1 is null, then it will return the expression 2. If expression 1 is not null, then the expression 1 will be returned. If you want that, I want to convert this data type. For example, if you think that, sir, I want to write here that is NVL commission and I want to write here that is not applicable. If you want to convert the value, if you want that, I want to write here character then the recommended thing is this is wrong. What we can do over here? We can convert this commission into character. So we can write here to care of commission. So my commission column will be converted into character and then I can write the same. Then it will work properly. So if you want to do like this, if you want to write the character, then you need to convert it into character and then you can write this. We already explored the two care, two date and two number in the previous lecture. So you people will get the better idea that the general function is what? That is the NVL to evaluate to null. Let me give one more example for the NVL. Sometimes people say that, sir, uh, if I am evaluating this particular column that is commission, should I need to write the commission column over here? No, you don't need to, must need to write the every column in the select close. Here you can write whatever you want to write, right? That is the select close uh, features that you can say. So suppose if you think that, sir, I want to make the salary plus commission. Uh, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Suppose if you are writing naturally, that is employee number, name. Suppose I am writing salary, commission. And if you write here salary plus commission, see here, I already explained you in the previous lectures whenever I talked about the select statement, that whenever you deal with the null, arithmetic with the null result into null. So what I can see, if you have the commission null, then 800 plus null will return the null. But if it is not null, then it will make the addition over here, that is 1900. So how to deal with this particular thing? So it is very simple. If you want the salary plus commission, then you can do over here, that if commission is null, it means you can write NVL. If it is null, then add the zero over here and do the same and you will get the result. What? If the salary, if the commission is null, then the 800 plus zero, you will get the 800. But if it is not null, then the 1600 plus 300 and you will get the 1900. So you can use the NVL function to evaluate the column. If it is a null, then the second expression will be returned. If it is not null, then the first expression will be returned. So this is all about a NVL functions. But sometimes people say that, sir, you explained very well the NVL is. What you did, if the commission is null, then it will return this, that is zero. If commission is not null, then it will return the commission. But I don't want to do this. I want that if the commission is null, then I want the salary. 
If commission is not null, then I want the commission plus salary. It means I want to write the condition like if else. Is it possible to write the if else over here? Yes, it is possible. And for that, you can use the function that is NVL2. What is the behavior of NVL2? NVL2 having the expression 1, expression 2, and expression 3. And we are to work how? If the first expression is null. If the first expression is null, then it returns the third one. If first expression is null, then it returns the third one. If the first expression is not null. If the first expression is not null, then it will return the expression number 2. So very simple, if the expression 1 is null, then it returns expression 3. So what we can do over here, very simple, see, NVL2, a commission, it means if the commission is null, then what do you want? If the commission is null, then I want only salary. If the commission is null, then I want only salary. If commission is not null, then I want salary plus commission. So here in second expression you can write, if commission is not null, if not null, then it will return the expression number 2. If it is null, then it will return the expression number 3. So here you can write like this, if the commission is null, then what you want to do? And if it is not null, then what you want to do? So instead of writing this, you can use the function over here that is nvl2. nvl2 will do what? It will take the three arguments. So here you can pass the first argument. I want to check that the commission is null or not. If the commission is null, then I want what? I want the salary only. But if the commission is not null, then I want the salary plus commission. So as I explained in the paper, if the first expression is null, then it returns the third expression. If the first expression is not null, then it returns the second expression. And as a result, you will get the output. If you look carefully over here, then the commission, is commission is null? Yes, then it will return only salary. If commission is not null, then it will return the salary plus commission and you will get the value over here. Right? So that is what the NVL2 is. Now suppose if you think that, sir, I want to definitely use the NVL2 function. But what I want to do, if the commission is null, then the, uh, I want to write over here that is the commission is not applicable. And if it is not null, then I want to write here the commission. Right. So, is it possible over here using the NVL2? Yes, it is possible. How? Let me give you the example. You can write over here employee number, name, for example, job. Now, I am writing salary. I am writing here commission. Now, I am using the function that is NVL2. If the commission is not null, then I want the commission. If the commission is null, then I want that not applicable but remember students i already explained you that the data type must be same so what we can do over here we can simply convert our source column into character we can convert here our source column into character and we will get the result that if the commission is null then it will print that the not applicable if the commission is not null then it will print the 300. You can do the same thing using NVL also. But if you want to use the NVL2, then you can do the same. Using NVL2, we can write the condition for, uh, that is for the null value also, you can write the value for the not null value, right? That is the powerful funda of the NVL2. If expression 1 is null, then it returns the expression 3. If expression 1 is not null, then it returns the expression number so the funda is what? If the commission is null, then I am simply printing the salary. If the commission is not null, then I am printing the salary plus commission. And that is what the NVL2 is. 
NVL2 function examines the first expression. If the first expression is not null, then it returns the second expression. And if it is null, then it returns the third expression. That is what the NVL2 is. Now, now the third variety of the function, general function, and that function is known as a null if. What is the use of null if function? Null if function compares the two expression. So here you can pass expression 1, you can pass expression 2. It will compare the two expression. If both are equal, then it returns null. So it returns null if both expression are equal. And if it is not equal, then it returns the first expression. Let me give the example practically over here. Suppose if you want to do a comparison between the column. So you can write here, this select null if. Now I am writing the value that is for example null and null. If both are equal, is null equal equal null? Right. If both are equal, then what C? What is the output? And it is expecting a other thing inconsistent. It means the point to remember of null if is what? You cannot specify the first argument as a null. This is the point to remember of the null if function. That is, you cannot specify the first argument as a null. Why? Because if both are equal, then it returns null. If both are not equal, if both are not equal, then it returns expression 1. Now, if your expression 1 is null, then inconsistent input will be there. Why? Because some people write like this. That is null and 15. Now we say that the null and 15 are not equal. So output should be the first expression. And the first expression returns null. It means both are equal. Right? So in this case, Oracle server will give you an error. That the inconsistent data type expected dash and got the character. So what to do in this case? Very simple. You cannot pass null as a first argument, but you can pass the null as a second argument. You can do this. If your first and second value are not matched, then it will return the first value. But remember student, if both value are same, then it returns the null. So it is used for the comparison. You can say uh, it is like a uh, STR CMP function in the C language, that is the string comparison. The same function available over here to compare the two input. If both input are same, then it will return the null. For example, if I am writing that is atmia, comma atmia, right? If both are same, then it will return null. If I am writing atmia in capital letters and if I am writing here the atmia in small letters, then it will return the first atmia. Why? Because, because it says that both are not equal. But sometimes we want that the e ignore the case. So what we can do in this case? Very simple. If you want to ignore the case, then you can write the function that is lower. So we can write here lower of Atmir. And whatever the input over here, you can convert into lower. And lower, of, lower, lower will be matched and you will get the null. It means null if function is used for the comparison. If both expression are same, then it return nulls. Otherwise, it return the expression number one. Why we cannot write the null as a first argument? Because if you provide the first argument as a null, and if you pro provide the second argument, for example, 10, as we know, this both are not same, then the first expression will be written. If it returns null, it means that the both are equal. So it will be treated as an inconsistent and as a result, whenever you provide the first argument as a null, it will say that inconsistent data type. So what we learn over here, for the comparison, we can use the null if function, expression 1 and expression 2. It returns null if both expression are equal. 
if both are not equal then it returns expression 1 and the point to remember is you cannot provide null as a first argument so as a first argument we cannot provide the null and that is what the null if function is suppose if you think that sir any more function available over here for the general function yes and that function is not as a that function is a call as function so this is a wonderful function why because the advantage of the call as function over the nvl function is that the call as function can take the multiple alternative values so the wonderful thing is what here you can write expression 1, expression 2, up to n expression. So how many expression you want to provide? Whatever the number of argument that you want to give, you can write over here in the college. And college function will do what? The college function return the first non-null expression in the, in the list. So it returns first non-null value non-null value means suppose i have a long list of the values in a callize argument and i want the first non-null value so you can get this how let's see practically here you can write the function that is callize now here you can write the value for example null 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 now i'm writing the value that is 50 now i'm writing again null Null. Now I'm writing the another value that is Atmia. N number of arguments you can provide over here from dual. College will do what? It will simply ignore all the null and it will retrieve the first non-null value. And as a result, yes. Inconsistent data type. Yes. What is the problem? See, whenever you are treating the college function, what you need to do? Either you need to convert all the value into the same data type or you need to provide the single data type over here. So what we can write over here? Either we can write this number into character. So we can write here 2 care of 15 and it will return the 15 over here. Or we can simply remove this Atmi over here and we can write here the value that is integer. Right. So all the values available in the college function having the same data type having the same data type as we all know null is the special data type so null will be available in any data type right so here 15 and 20 having the same data type and as a result you will get the 15 so what is the biggest benefit over here the biggest benefit is you will always get the value you will always get the value let me give you the practical example for example, I am writing here that is employee number, name, now I am writing that is uh, for example column salary, now I am writing the column that is commission from employees. Now what I want to do, if the commission is null, then I want to write the salary over here and if the commission is not null, then I want the only commission over here. Is it possible using the columns? Yes, it is possible. How? Let's see practically. Here you can use the function call as. Here you can pass your first column that is commission. What happened? If your commission is null, is null, right? Then it will look for the second column. If it is not null, then it will definitely print the first column. So here you can write the salary, commission, comma, salary from employees. And as a result, you will get the output. See here, if the commission is null, it displays the salary. If the commission is not null, then it displays the commission. And here, Colas is doing what? Simple. It returns the first non-null value from the list. So if the commission is null, then it prints the salary. If the salary and commission both are null, then in the particular case, you can write the another column over here. You can write the another column, for example, employee number. You can write the another column over here, for example, MGR. So what happens if the commission is null, then it will look into the salary. If the salary is null, then it look into the employee number. If employee number is null, then it look into the MGR and you will get the output. 
right? So this is the wonderful thing over here. Collets can take the multiple argument. Sometimes people say that, sir, can we do the same thing that we did with the NVL and NVL2? Can, we can do the same thing using the collage. For example, if commission, that is the uh, collage function, I want to do what? If the commission is, that is null, right? Then I want what? That is, if the commission is null, then I want definitely want the cell. But if commission is not null, right? Then I want the salary plus commission. So uh, can we do this? If you write over here, that is salary plus commission, what happened? Remember students, arithmetic with the null written into null. So commission is null. So in this particular case, the output is wonderful. Say, your college will do what? Salary plus commission. So your salary is what? That is, that is, for example, null. Right, salary plus commission, that is 800 plus commission. If it is null, then it prints the salary, that is 800 over here. 1600 plus 300, you will get the 1900. 1250 plus 1400, you will get the 2650. 2975 plus 0, you will get the 2975. Right, so the accurate output is displayed over here using the college function. And college will do what? It's a simple function. And the college function will do what? If the first argument is null, then it look into the second argument. If the first argument is not null, then it will simply print the that particular argument. So college will return the first non-null value in the list. So in short, we can come to the conclusion, and that conclusion is what? College function returns the first non-null value. Now another function is there and that function is known as a decode. Decode will do what? It will take the expression. So here you can pass the expression or column name. Now you can search for the value and based on the search you can write your value over here. right? So if it is search then what you want to display. right? So if search 1 is found then the display 1. If search 2 is found, then display 2. If search 3 is found, then display 3. Up to n number of arguments you can give over here. And the last argument is for the else. It means if search 1 is found, then display this. If search 2 is found, then display this. If search 3 found, then display this. If search 1, search 2, search 3 is not found, then in other case, display others and your decode function will over. Let me give the wonderful example for the same. For example, what I want to do. I have the data that is employee number, name, job, salary from employees. Now, based on the job, I want to display that this person is the class 1 uh, officer and this person is the class 2 officer like this. So what I want to do, instead of expression, I want to use the job. Right, so that is the column. If that person is the president, if that person is the president, then I want to display that this person is the class 1 officer. If this person is the, that is manager, if that person is the manager, then I want to print that this person is the class 2 officer. If that person is the analyst, then I want to print that this person is the class 3 officer. And rest, if it is a salesman, if it is a clerk or any other job, right, I want to display that that person is a class for official. You can write this particular thing into decode and you will get the output. It will do what? It will match this particular string into job column. If it is matches, then it will print class 1. If it is matches, then it will print class 2. If it is matches, then it will print class 3. If all these three are not matched, then it will print simply class 4. So this is the syntax of decode function. Let me give the example for the same. 
here we can write job comma salary now i'm writing over here that is you people will get the proper idea that based on the job the decode is working so i'm writing here decode job if it is a precedent then i want to print that class one better way of writing the decode function is what press the enter over here then write the tab and write the search string over here so you will you people will get the better idea uh, about the columns and better idea about the arguments if it is a manager then class two if that person is that is analyst then write class three if that person is not president not manager not analyst then write simply class four and this is the decode function so your decode bracket will be over 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 here you can write from employee is what i did here see i need to uh, close the that is single quotation mark so what i will do i will write the same thing again i will simply close this class three right if it is a analyst then write the class three if it is a manager then write the class two else you can write that is class four and you can write from employees and you people will get the output over here if that person is president you will you are getting the output over here that is class one if that person is clerk class four if that person is analyst class three analyst class three if that person is manager class two and the wonderful thing is what you can sort by that is your column so here you can write as that is uh, label so i'm writing here as label right so here you can write label of job so you can write here order by the column name that is level job you can just copy this you can close this you can simply paste over here that is the level underscore job is my name of the column yes what i need to write here that is l e v a l you can just close this and you people will get the idea that the order by level job so class one will display first class two then class 3, then class 4 officer will be displayed over here. So you can use the decode function for the searching. So if that position is a search, you can use the display 1. If the search 2, then display 2. Search 3, then display 3. If no matches, then others. Here you can write, if it is a precedent, then class 1. If it is a manager, then class 2. If it is an analyst, then class 3 else you can write class 4 so this is what the decode function is sometimes people say is that sir i want to write the condition can i write the condition in decode for example suppose i have the table that is select star from result now based on the result i want to write the grade over here and what is the grade for example that is what i want over here i want that if users marks are between 90 and 100, then I want to write the grade double A. If user marks are between 85, if user marks are between 75 and 89, then I want to write AB. If user marks are between 65 and 74, then I want to write BB. If user marks are between, that is 55 and 64, then I want to write here that is BC. If it is between 50 and 54, then I want to write CC. And if the marks are less than 50, then I want to write over here that is FF. It means I want to write the condition that is less than, greater than and all these things. Is it possible using the decode function? And for that, you can use the case when function. So how to write the case when? Remember students, case when and decode almost both are same. You can write roll number, name, marks from result. What I want to do, if the marks of the person is between that is 90 to 100, right?
then I want to write the grade double A over here. If the marks is between 75 to 89, then I want to write over here that is AB grade. And if the marks is between 65 to 74, then I want to write over here that is BB grade. And if the marks is between 55 to 64, then I want to write the BC grade. If it is between 50 to 54, then I want to write CC. And if it is less than 50, then I want to write the FF grade. So how we can do this? Very simple. You can write over here, that is select roll number name marks, comma. Here you can write the case when close. Case when marks greater than or equal to 90, then write double A. When marks is greater than or equal to 75, then write AB. When marks is greater than or equal to 65, then write the BB. When the marks is greater than or equal to, that is 55, then write the BC. If the marks is greater than or equal to 50, then write the CC. And what you want to do in else case? So here you can write else case also. It means if any condition is not matched, then you want to do what? Else I want to write only FF. Then you can simply close your case. So you can write AND over here. So your case will be AND. And you can write the column name that is AS GRADE. So this column will be denoted as a GRADE. You can write simply from RESULT. And you will get the output over here. PCS is getting the grade that is double F. AJF is getting the grade that is double A. DJP is BC. Why? Because the marks is between that is a 55 to 64. And that is the reason why he is getting the BC grade. Sometimes people say that, sir, I want to sort all this data based on the grade. So how we can do this? So very simple. You can write the same query. So you can just write the ED. Here, you can just write that is order by marks descending. So whenever you write order by marks descending, you will get the data that the A, double A grade will be written first, then AB grade, and then BB grade, then BC grade, and then the finally the FF grade will be displayed. So you can use the case when for the same purpose that you can you are you are using the decode function. You can write the case when for the decode also. For example, you can write over here that is select employee number, employee name, job. Now I want to use what that is case when job is equal to, for example, if it is a precedent. So case when job is equal to precedent, then I want to print class one. Here you can write another when close and you can write when job is equal to, that is manager, then class 2. Here you can write when job is equal to another category that is analyst. If the job is analyst, then you can write class 3. And when others, it means in else case, you can write else you want to print what, else I want to print class 4. And you can simply end your case. You can just write as, that is, this is the level of the job. So I'm writing level job. From which table you want? I want the data from employees. So the same result that we are using, we are getting using the decode function, the same result you can get using the case van. So this is the way you can retrieve the data. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Thank you all.